the average speed in New York City is less than 10 miles per hour. Uh, and, and, and once you get to your destination, there's no place to park your car. So it's a, it's a real problem. What we're trying to do is really have people have the freedom to go where they want to, when they want to in cities without all of the side effects that we've seen over the years. We want to reinvent the urban transportation solution. That's the reason we're doing it. We want to reinvent that solution. So with this project, we're really addressing all of the major issues facing cities in the future, which is energy, environment, safety, congestion, parking, and affordability. The project is called Project Puma. Uh, Puma stands for Personal Urban Mobility and Accessibility. And the solution we're offering is a very, very small machine. It's about a fourth the size of a vehicle. It seats two people comfortably. These vehicles will literally turn on a spot. Imagine a two-wheeled vehicle that can basically turn on its own footprint. It has zero turning circle. It's a derivative of the Segway PT technology, dynamic stabilization, where we've adapted it from the standing position to two seated positions and then small enclosure. And it, that small vehicle now can move around in an urban environment with high mobility, small footprint, electric for low emissions, and it has a very simple architecture to it that allows it to be very affordable. Einstein once said the best design is the simplest one that works, and so why not see if there is a way in which we could get the same kind of movement in cities on two wheels that we've been getting on four. Man, max, machine, min. That's our design philosophy, to use the minimum amount of machine for the maximum benefit of the person being moved. I think these vehicles will be a lot of fun to drive, but in a city environment, driving isn't a lot of fun for a lot of people. You know, especially today when you're in traffic jams. Congestion is basically too many vehicles in the same space at the same time. And the only way we can really address that is if the vehicles can communicate with each other and coordinate themselves, arrange themselves so they're not all blocked up in one place at the same time. We're using wireless communications, very similar to the technology that's being used in Wi-Fi. Basically, the vehicles will communicate their presence to other vehicles and they will avoid hitting each other. And that will help safety. Uh, will also help to reduce congestion. So the idea of being able to turn that switch over to autonomous and letting the vehicle take you to your destination at a speed of 15 miles an hour, let's say, but you can relax and be doing work or relaxing or communicating with your friends, you know, social networking, uh, video conferencing, that's very appealing. Because now your time in the car isn't time on hold, you know, getting to your destination. You can use the time how you want. There are cities such as uh, Paris, such as London, uh, cities in Abu Dhabi that are actually building cities and communities and campuses that only use zero carbon footprint uh, products. Imagine Manhattan every day where all of the vehicles are quiet, they're not putting out any emissions, uh, no carbon dioxide being emitted, uh, driving electrically and avoiding each other in a very polite way. We think this would really bring some compelling uh, benefits to a city.